This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and today something that has nothing to do with Transformer, although she is a robot from the game Xenosaga, uh, specifically the version of episode 1. And there's a German text that goes with the episode 1, well each episode. Um, this one is... They are Willy Zurmach, and I'm probably butchering this pronunciation like crazy. Um, but this is Cosmos. Now, for those of you who don't know uh, the Xeno Saga trilogy game, uh, it's part of the Xeno Blade and Xeno Gears and all that Xeno uh, Xeno Blade Chronicles, and it's kind of part of that universe. But it's a standalone series uh, from two, the early 2000s, local. Um, I think 2004 maybe and um, I've been looking for a figure of specifically the episode 1 Cosmos uh, because episode 2 and 3 uh, you had more sexualized version of her and I didn't really need that. This is the gal I fell in love with in the first game. Um, she has an amazing story. Um, if, you, if you like good stories, intricate, complicated stuff Go play Xeno Saga. Uh, basically, it's 4,000 years in the future, and humanity spread pretty much everywhere. But there's a lot of factions, uh, you know, feuding against each other. But there's a threat of the Gnosis, which are kind of space ghosts, basically. Uh, and she's able to fight them. And it's fantastic. And this figure um, is. You know, I tried to find a figure of Cosmos, and I, I did find few variations of over $200, uh, but it's mostly season uh, episode two and three versions, which I really didn't care for. So when I found this on Etsy of all places, uh, dumb luck, I guess. And when I got it, I realized here it says not for sale. So I'm like, okay interesting so I do a little more research on this and this is directly from Namco um, and I found out this was a Japanese uh, premium figure that you get if you buy the kind of collector's edition so uh, Japan exclusive premium game you get this inside it's still in box and this is pretty much 20 years old and I'm going to open it I'm to some people, I'm the Antichrist. This is awesome. I can't wait to open this. And even if it doesn't seem like there's any leg articulations, but there's a stand, so that's a bonus. I'm gonna open that up. Before I do that, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature on my channel. Also the interview playlist, if you wanna hear stories from the actors, that's very interesting. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. I am an anti-gnosis humanoid fighting system. Serial number 00000000001. Development name KPX. Abbreviated name Cosmos. Okay, moment of truth. I'm really excited to do this. I did a bit of research just because I was curious. In episode 1 and 3, she was voiced by Bridget Hoffman. And then in episode 2, she was voiced by Colleen O'Shaughnessy. From what I see, they do a lot of dubbing. But they did a great job, both of them. You know, maybe I'll do voice actor spotlight on them eventually. I love the character very much. Now And now all I think about is playing the game again. On my PS2. Or maybe on some emulator. I don't know. Okay, let's do this. Uh, well, first, let's take a look at the box. Uh, you have the FB shot, the R cannon. I don't recall this gun because most revolvers and pistol were used by a character named Junior. Uh, you have two sets of, uh, well, two different hands. Um, one of each, so I'm guessing for different weapon. 
Uh, this seems to be connected directly to the hand, which would fit the character very well. Uh, you have the figure itself, nice uh, artwork. And then in the back you have different uh, ways to equip her. And a product shot, and then some writing. Um, female, 18. This is weird, but I guess... She's not even 18 years old because the character, uh, it, it, she's a, uh, a robot designed. But actually, if you think of the actual character in the story, she's like 6,000 years old. So, uh, 167 centimeters, 92 kilograms. So, she's a tall girl and she's pretty, uh, she's all, you know, made of uh, sturdy stuff. So, pretty heavy. Shion, you forget I am not human. I am merely a weapon. Can't I? And then there's other stuff. I have no. And then the not for sale stuff. Well, you know, I don't. I don't understand why someone would sell this, but I'm. I'm glad that he did. All right. So it's already ripped. The box is a bit damaged, and there's no way I can preserve the artwork. I know, but you know, I really want to open this. I'm sorry, everyone. There you go. The stand is... Oh, it's glued to... to so I'm going to rip more of the artwork. There's a good weight to it. To, there's a good weight to her. Alright. Uh, let's uh, take out the stand. Might as well just get the whole thing ruined. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I know somebody just died somewhere, had a heart attack. Mm. Ah, okay, the FB shot. There's a bit of a... oh. <sighs> yeah, he's losing his paint inside, but it's not gonna show too much, so... I can't complain there. There we go. Looks real good. I am, um, but uh, the fact that the paint is scratching on the inside uh, tells me that I have to be careful with this because uh, it's still old. So I don't know how resistant um, that's going to be. Uh, maybe if I pop them from the other side and the extra set of hands. So that's for the gun. The revolver. Uh, other stuff. Huh? There's a plastic thingy here to hold it in place. Ah, it was loose, so that can happen. Uh, the revolver. And now. That's it. No. Oh no. Wait. Okay. Might as well do it properly. Or you know what? No. Got this here. And cut this here. There you go. That should do it. I want to pull on it and break it. I'm trying not to damage the hair. Well, you'll see from the clips, uh, my uh, little clip insert, uh, she'll have a yeah, more vibrant uh, hair color. As I am currently configured for simulated battle, my output is limited to 22% of its normal capacity. But this looks good. Pale blue. I think in the other games, she was really a darker blue. Uh, but I really like this. Um, 
and as I said, no leg articulation. So it's a bummer, but she's a display piece. I don't think she was ever intended to be a toy. God, she looks good. All right, you do have. Uh, it's it's just like the game character. You have the visor. Uh, which actually, I thought she was going to wear the whole time in the game, you know, and I'm going to guess that this, yeah, doesn't move one bit. Uh, you have the, you know, piece of white hair, and like she has nice big eyes. Um, the animation models uh, in the first game had a more doll-like appearances, big eyes and round faces. Uh, in the episode two and three, that was changed to a more realistic look which I think was personally a bad choice. I would have loved if they kept something like that for the whole thing. Um, you have her uh, choker, nice details on this, I guess kind of a zipper, uh, her uh, uh, bodysuit, uh, very detailed. This is where you'll have the uh, uh, X-Buster coming out. She has uh, her holster here. Oh, there it is. Um, there's no way to get to it, but the holsters are there in the back. Um, yeah, but I don't think this moves. Unless, mm, it's very tight head articulation. Um, nice stockings. Love that. Love that piece here. You know, with that little, uh, you know, connector. This is completely unnecessary for a robot, but it was really a cool design choice. I like it. And a nice uh, heel. And that kick can punch through a wall. So, you know, or kick through a wall, I guess. I dig it. Articulation. You do have a kind of, you know, those soft ratchet that they, they, they click, but they don't do a sound. So you have that. And then you have a very soft elbow bend you do have a rotation at the hand and that's it there's no waist rotation no leg rotation no knee bend so you stick her on this thing here and then you can play with the different uh, weapons and to facilitate there's a porthole right here if you want her to hold her FB shot oh, the other way around like this so not bad but I do prefer when she's actually using it can she hold it or is that the other hand uh, yeah I don't think she means she's meant to hold it like that this piece moving around is kind of annoying all right let's uh, remove the hand oh I'm guessing huh let me just look at the box punch from a girly like you wouldn't even dent <laughs> one more strike and this window will shatter okay my mistake, sorry. You want to remove this piece and put the Arcanon in there. Wow. That's a tight fit. And now she has the gun. So now I'm going to give her the other hand. And then she would get Arcanon and then poof, shoot with it looks awesome and now that little revolver probably not gonna display her with that though if I have an option uh, I can't remove this arm there's no connection to it so and can she hold while well, she could potentially hold the F shot like this yeah there's good chance I think I'm gonna glue that piece here but there's good chance that this is how I'm going to display her with the F-Shot and the R-Cannon. 
And then the arc cannon matches perfectly with the arm. Looks real good. That's a little too heavy for that joint I'm getting. I'm guessing. Sorry, my English is bad tonight. I'm too excited. Um, I like that. She's a good representation. Like, I mean, like I said, I've played the game. I, I, I love this franchise. I love the characters. She's awesome. I've been looking for this for a while now, and I'm extremely happy to have found it. So this is going to be a short review. I love the stand. Like where the peg, ah, oh, there you go. Where the peg actually goes inside the uh, the heel, like that hole between the heel and the toes, that arch. So, oh, I can push it down pretty good. There you go. Well, she's not gonna fall off, that's cool. With the R cannon. But it's a very tight fit, so. I like that and maybe yeah with the gun I just want to show you how it's being held uh, with well there's no real trigger finger not with this one either but you can get a good uh, good pose from it when did she use that she stole one of junior's gun maybe yeah potentially there you go all right, let me clean this up a little bit. Well, there you go, guys. I think that's how I'm going to have to display her because of the limited uh, articulation of the legs and also the massive weight of the FB shot uh, for that hand. Uh, it's not, uh, there's no way it can hold. Um, you know, I can place it in there, but it uh, the gun keeps falling down. So, uh, but I mean, this is a near 20 years old or maybe over 20 years old figure. So, um, I didn't collect back then, so I don't know what was the uh, the standard for uh, you know game exclusive figures in Japan. Uh, so maybe they're all kind of like that. Uh, but the details of it is amazing, and you've seen the clips throughout the. Uh, the review uh, those are the ones I've selected that I really like so she's a great character and I'm very happy to have her in my collection so thanks for watching guys I hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment I love reading those keep coming back I have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care